basically we decided to partner with Celestine Masinde who's an Olympian and plays for Kenya Lionesses uh, to pro 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 providing this drink so uh, basically when corona started you uh, you are well known you know that um, sports stopped mm -hmm. so we stopped playing we stopped uh, you know the activities that we were doing me myself I was like three I, I mean three and a half into sports mm -hmm. like I mean all my life was entirely on sports so I decided to you know venture into other businesses mm -hmm. and this is one of them so it's mm -hmm. to partner in producing and selling this hibiscus juice mm -hmm. and that's what you're doing after Rio 2016 I'd come, um, I'd come across with a drink. It's a West African cuisine, and that the, um, they used to call it the village. It was a drink they were taking, so I took a liking to it. And then one day I decided, you know what, let me just forget about these pizzas and all these things, because we were so excited, you get things that you've never seen before. So I decided to go to the healthy, uh, healthy section. And then I came across hibiscus. See, I asked the person, okay, so what, what, what exactly is it? Then, you know, I was told this is hibiscus, it's, and then I tasted it, it was really nice. So that is 2016. Then uh, fast forward to 2020. Mm, I've, I, I was, from that time, I kind of kept thinking of, you know, if you can have something that is good, is flavory, and you can still enjoy, yet it's a, a healthy alternative. Because, you know, we are sports people. We struggle with the love for fizzy drinks and the love for... Um, uh, what we call the, the, the bad sugars. So I decided, you know what, if I can venture into this business whereby I can help someone, I can help other sports people who are struggling, why not? And that is when now I approached uh, on some. And he was actually on the same on the same wavelength because at the time when we talked it was just something like ah because we you know we've played together and there are some conversations you can have with a friend and see if you can take it to another level. So we talked and that is where it ended. So then uh, 20, when the pandemic started, the good thing is that we had already, uh, this thing was actually on the, we were still trying to work on how we can get it out there. But so immediately when the pandemic started, he told me, you know, this is now the opportunity for us to seize the moment. Remember, we cannot be statistics and say COVID-19 has crippled businesses, it has crippled sports people. We decided to now take this thing full on. Remember, we now have the whole, all, all the time in our hands. Mm. So we can actually fully immerse ourselves into the drink and, and hence hibiscus ginger. After I had the conversation with uh, Celestine, so um, the, you know, we didn't want to do a Joakali thing. Mm. So, you know, the process that we needed to, you know, uh, verify, like mm -hmm. caps, this, this drink is caps uh, approved mm -hmm. and the things that we needed to, you know, make them right before we, we got exactly. into, you know, producing it and selling it. Yeah. So it took a while, uh, but we thank God that we're here. Sam and I are the faces of the drink. Of course, um, they say Rome was not built in a day and neither was it built by one person. We are a great team. Uh, my sisters together with Onsom, and we we're, we're a, quite a big team uh, as we speak right now. So it took us um, it took us quite a long time to get it out there. But I'll say for those people maybe who are wondering like um, what do I need to do to have such a thing because everyone would want to do that. Um, it takes good partnerships, people who understand the business because uh, Sam and I have partnered with uh, Judy who's also the owner of Masatek Limited and uh, that is the umbrella for the drink. So she's a friend, she's my sister and you know we've been, uh, she's been in business for quite some time so she helped us in terms of um, you know knowing the right people to go to and what exactly we need to, to do to get the drink out there. Getting cabs, uh, getting it cabs approved, as Sama said, haikuwa raisi, but um, you know, we went through all the stages of testing and all that until at least finally we got the, the sticker. Business is business. They say, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they say business is hard. Yeah. It's true. I mean, the first stages is always hard and tough, eh? but it's just the persistence and, you know, not giving up mm -hmm. because, I um, mean, we get, we're, we're actually getting good reviews yeah. and that's something positive exactly. we're, we're taking. Eh? Yeah, it's, it's going to be big. Eh? Mm -hmm. In fact, we're getting to supermarkets very soon yeah. and, I mean, it's going to be a big, th the next big thing, actually. Yeah. Hibiscus, um, we, we use, actually it's a, an organic drink, I must say. Uh, it's a purely organic drink uh, with a lot of benefits. We've used hibiscus flower 
um, ginger, the plant, and uh, stevia. We tried to avoid um, the quote-unquote sugar and went with a sweetener that is also good for, you know, your health, yes. hence stevia. Yeah. So the benefits uh, of the drink is, um, number one, stevia, the sweetener is good for BP, so it helps regulate blood, uh, blood uh, pressure. Sure. It's also good uh, in regulating blood sugar and blood fat uh, levels. Um, um, another thing about hibiscus is that it's good for, uh, it helps improve liver digestion. As we said, it's a fully loaded um, immune booster. So it has vitamin C, D, and iron, as well as riboflavin. Actually, Sam and I, were in, uh, we normally have our weekly meetings and reviews. And, you know, as of now, it's all about us going out there because we're the face of the drink uh, in, in Kenya rugby, as well as just basically out there because our market is not limited only to sports people. This is a family drink. Um, in terms of... Um, you know, getting it out there and getting the numbers in and getting to segment ourselves in a, in a specific market, now that is a challenge. You know, that's why we are also doing things like this. Uh, remember, we are sports people and um, he's also good. He, he has a club that he's managing, uh, basically in terms of the sales. Uh, he comes from Impala. So he, that is his segment, uh, not only in, in terms of the rugby scene, but also as the Kenya, you know, to be the face for the Kenya 15s and, and just put out uh, the drink and uh, kind of make everyone aware of how it can actually help them, not only as sportsmen, but we are also, uh, as he said, we're going to supermarkets very soon. There are just a few things that we need to nip and then we'll, we'll soon be out there. Um, I think it was, I don't know which week we went to some hotels. We've been going to hotels and we are actually, as I said, we're having really good reviews. Mm -hmm. So as we speak, it's... Um, We've done, I think, one, we, 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 we hit the 1,000 sales in a matter of just, um, it was, in, Inception was one month ago when we started actually, after we got the cab sticker is when now we were actually, we had confidence to go and approach people and sell. COVID I just, it's, it's an eye opener to sportsmen and to everyone actually who's out there, outside there, mm -hmm. that you can do anything actually on social media, on online platforms and still make a living out of it. Mm -hmm. I think for specifically sports people, we were like, you know, we, we had put all our mind into yeah, sports, sports. And, and, you know, uh, trying to make to work hard, mm -hmm. to train and play every other weekend. And, True. you know, we forget that we also need to live mm -hmm. our lives outside rugby True. and any other sport that you're playing. So it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's I agree, it's, it's an eye opener. And it's, it's, it's good that it happened um, or it came. Yeah. yeah, so so that people can even, you know, think outside the box, mm -hmm. not just to, you know, depend. And sometimes it's good. Sele here works, eh? mm -hmm. is employed, but uh, you see still, she's still doing this. COVID uh, caught everyone unawares. And basically, not only has it been an, you know, eye awakening and, uh, you know, it's given us like a rude shock. This is now our lives, probably after you retire. When rugby is taken away from you, now this is your life. So it's a blessing in disguise because it's, it's made everyone now know that uh, you cannot just put all your eggs in one basket. You have to spread your wings and they say you diversify in terms of, say, whatever you're doing, be it business or, or even in rugby. They say, uh, when you're playing, you have to have different positions such that uh, if there's competition, you're always able to spread your wings. So this period has been extremely tough. <laughs>